Liza, tonight dozens of firefighters battling a two alum fire forcing patients to be moved out of their rooms at the HCA Florida Largo Hospital. That is where we find ABC Action News reporter Lydia Vasquez. Lydia, what do we know? What caused this fire if we do know at this point in time? And most importantly, has anyone been hurt? Hey Vanessa, well the scene is cleared now, but within the last hour this parking lot was filled with fire crews from Clearwater, Seminole and Largo. We're told right now there are no injuries reported, but this fire all started in a patient's room. Largo Fire says that their preliminary investigation shows a paper towel dispenser was overloaded with batteries, which then overheated the towels inside, causing plastic to drip onto paper towels on the floor and then onto the wall. Just after 8 o'clock, smoke was seen coming from the third floor. We're told the fire burned through the paper towel dispenser as well as towels on the sink before the sprinkler system put it out. Largo Fire says around 19 patients had to be evacuated to other areas of the hospital. We're told crews have to take into consideration things like the size of the building, where the fire is, and how many people are inside. First, it's going to be what's on fire, take care of the fire and then the smoke damage, and then that becomes a health hazard. After that, we were then concerned about the amount of water damage that was going into multiple floors below. So that became our third problem. We were getting uh, water going down to the second and first floor. And so we then had to make sure that wasn't getting into any electrical systems or anything like that. The staff was told to shut down the AC system so smoke wasn't circulating. Fire crews then walked through the building with air monitors to make sure it was safe. Now maintenance is cleaning up any flooding from the sprinkler system. The district chief, chief tells me that general cleanup is next for the next several days, but everyone impacted, we're told, is now moved to other rooms of the hospital. And again, no one has been injured as of right now, no reported injuries. As far as that uh, paper towel dispenser, no one on scene was able to talk to us about that. That's something we'll be following up on to see if any changes will be made moving forward. For now, we're live in Largo. I'm Lydia Vasquez, ABC Action News.